Hi, welcome back to my Allen Bradley PLC test bank. Today we're going to be testing a couple of things on the Allen Bradley 1794 Flex IO system. That will include the 1794 ASB, and this one is a Series E, but they're all basically the same for testing, along with a PS13 power supply and a IA16, OA16, which is input and output, 16.120 volt. So we'll just swing around here as usual, um, show you how we've got everything set up on the bench, and step through a quick testing procedure, and explain why we test it the way we do. So be right back. Okay, we're back. So as you can see, I've got the system set up. Here's our PS13 power supply. This is capable of putting out 1.3 amps DC from 110 volts. It's a standard power supply. Um, and actually, any 24 volt DC power supply will do you on these systems. Um, it's really nice to have the Allen Bradley one because it all looks really nice and cute and everything's clean. So, not a big deal. This is our ASB and it's connected through the base connections into the I.O. and in and out modules. This is where you set your speed, your rack number, and all the other settings. Now as you can see I've got the output tied parallel to the input and then that goes up to our standard test lights. You always want to check these things with a load. If you don't have a load then you could be getting false readings. These outputs are triax. Triax have been known to leak. So what we do is just wrote a little uh, little program, one second on, one second off, and flash continuously. And each one is individual. And that way, if you've got a problem on your input module or your output module, you can tell you can isolate it real quick that way. Now the ASBs, these are Alan Bradley's trying to get rid of these, but there some of the there's millions of them in, in service, and they're one of the most solid systems. We always check them at the following settings: rack seven, rack ten, and rack twenty. And to test on rack twenty, you have to have at least a five sixty or a five eighty processor, or control logics. We check them at, rack, at group 0 and group 6. And what this does is take and change all of the dip switches on and off. If you get any failures in there, you know that one of your dip switches is gone. And that's these little slide dip switches in here. And the other thing we do is check the speed. Now, the remote I.O. can operate at three speeds, 57.6, 1.15, and 2.30. With you check at 57.6 and 1.15, you're flipping your dip switches on and off to make sure they all work properly. So, like I say, that's about it. There's uh, not much else to, to check on these things. It's pretty simple. And, uh, like I say, there's our, uh, our lights flashing on and off. And you can tell... From the uh, a little hard to see with the glare from all the different lights, but you can see that they're all working. There we go. Speed differences between individual channels. There's nothing can be done with that. Um, they're all actually working exactly together. Pilot lights are just transformer style, so sometimes they're a little there's a little lag. Thanks a lot. Come back anytime and take and subscribe if you'd like to.